All right, so I'm gonna take you down into my room. I think you guys have seen this like wall that's by my, this is my upstairs, but like I painted this wall or my sister painted this wall like a coral color and then I have this gray matlin um, canvas that hangs here and then I have spiral staircases. That's kind of hard to film going down here, um, but I have this little window and I have some stuff up there like pictures and tchotchkes. Oh, the fake plant. Sorry, I yawned. Um, okay. So, from the last time you saw this, I have painted. So, as you can see, uh, I've picked a dark greenish color. And I thought it went really nicely with the whites. Um, I painted this myself. Uh, I just did, you know, this whole area and then left the rest white. So, here's sort of an overview. Um, this is new. This my rugs, and I'll go into detail about these things. That is old. My bed is exactly the same. Um, and then my furniture is new. So um, this nightstand over here, and then uh, my dresser over here. Ignore my dirty laundry. Guys, it's the middle of quarantine, and um, my building has one washer dryer right now working for everybody. So this is like my crap corner of stuff right now. Like laundry is here. I keep my vacuum here. I have a guitar that a friend gave me that maybe I'll finally learn to play. And then here's another uh, nightstand. So these, the the set that I bought came with two of these nightstands, these mid-century modern nightstands. And I really lucked out because I got these from um, a thrift store by my house on Long Island. And it was super affordable. And some of the stuff is super expensive online. So um, two nightstands, but the other one doesn't fit over here. And then this dresser, which is just amazing. So here it is from far away. Um, it is this like diamond shape. And then on the bottom, there's just two long drawers. Um, I keep jewelry. It's a mess, but I, yeah, it's a huge mess. I keep jewelry and stuff in here. And then like all my other clothes and stuff like underwear and things. And then I keep sunglasses and some other random stuff. Those are a mess too. Um, on top of my dresser, it probably looks somewhat similar, but I put this death cab um, poster that I had framed on top of there because I can't really hang things on these stone walls. From the same thrift store, I purchased this um, perfume tray or jewelry tray. It's like somewhat vintage I don't know how old it is um but I just keep all my perfumes and uh little things in their rings and stuff and I um currently can't smell anything um I can tell you my coronavirus story if you like but um you know I'm feeling much much better now uh haven't been confirmed as of me filming this right now but um the only thing that still remains is I can't smell a thing. Um, these are two little Tim Burton guys, uh, a Selfridges ornament that my friend Nicole bought me. Um, this is a dish from Hong Kong that I use for jewelry. I haven't worn any of it in a long time. I keep lipsticks in here and here's some crystals that I keep for whatever reason. Um, and then over here is just like, I have some black and white photos that I've um, kept here. Guys, I look like not good, but you know, we'll try to avoid the mirror shots. So this is from um, a doorway on Driggs Avenue in Williamsburg. I used to live in Williamsburg, I did for five years and I would walk by this every day. Um, to my knowledge, as of a couple of months ago, it still looks like this. It's just like an abandoned um, building with this American flag. I don't really know what goes on in there. So I just love it. And that was my piece of Williamsburg that I took with me. Um, a Stranger Things poster. Japan droid signed CD case um and then my Sono speakers and like I still have this Bose speakers on top of it because I don't really know if I should get rid of it or not and then this Bite Me NYC Super Moon um pastry container that I keep medicine in this is a dehumidifier because in the summertime I live in this basement always but in the summertime it gets very humid so I need to have that um rugs this rug is very old. It should probably go in the trash. I actually tried to trash it, but when I tried to pick it up myself, move the bed, like it was a disaster. And I was like, you know what? It's just going to stay here until I move or somebody else can help me. And then this one's also from Rugs USA. These are super cheap. Um, 
great rugs. I love them. This one, you know, like these white rugs are very in now and sort of always, um, and they get dirty. So why not just spend, um, you know, a hundred dollars on one instead of lots of money. So that's what I have. Um, that's Cuddles. He's been with me for a long time. Um, up on this windowsill, I have some fake plants. I think they're called, I just forget what those succulents are called, but I have those up there. I like them. Um, this is a iPhone photo that I took at Big Sur last year. Um, and they just framed it and put it above my bed. I'd love to hide that little frame hanger, but I did a bad job. I just sort of haphazardly hang things myself. So, um, it's not always the best job, but you know, it works. Um, over here I have a framed, this, my sister does collage and stuff. I'll put her links down below, but she does a lot of magazine collage. She does product photography. Um, and then in one of her finds, she found this ad. It's a real ad and she has the original and, um, I love it so much. And I was like, can you just make me a print of it, please? And so for Christmas, um, she made me this and had it framed on Framebridge. So I really love that. Love it. Um, over here is just two um, tickets from Italy from Capri that were from their metro situation and I just kept them and put them in a float frame. This is just a card and then my beautiful nightstand, my noise machine, which I finally got a new one. Um, the other one just started making rattling noises so I upgraded after 11 years. A heater that doesn't usually stay against the wall. I pull it out, but like, again, I told you I live in the basement, so it gets cold. Um, this uh, is from Israel. I got that on Birthright. My closet is actually not that bad, so you can see it. I haven't really worn anything in here in the past three weeks. But there's all my clothes and shoes and uh, summer clothes and sweaters. I've worn sweaters and sweatshirts and stuff, but have not touched any of this. Um, maybe I'll see you one day soon, close. Okay, and then this is something I'm very proud of, excited about. Um, I guess I don't need this light on. Uh, this vanity is originally from, hold on, originally from Anthropology. Um, you probably recognize it. I've seen it all over Pinterest and all those things, um, Instagram, stuff like that. So uh, I had my eye on this. I've, I've been looking for a huge vanity to fill up this space for a long time. Um, I used to have a rinky dinky like Target one that like was literally this big on the wall. Uh, so this one, I found this desk from Anthropology. fell in love with it. It was like two grand or something crazy. And I was like, okay, you need to find a new way to get this. So uh, there was a store in New Jersey called Final Cut. They had a lot of stuff from anthropology that um, was either a little damaged or whatever that they'd sell for very cheap. So I heard, you know, they had an Instagram. They've since moved to Georgia. So if you're in Georgia, you can still go after this whole fiasco's over. Um, but uh, it was like their moving sale. Everything was gone. And I messaged them just to be like, hey, do you still have any more of those desks? Um, I really want one, but I live in Brooklyn and, you know, I'm going to make the trip. And they were like, yeah, we have a bunch, but they're in various degrees of damage. So you can come see for yourself, see if you want it. Um, it was scuffed up a lot. Like over here was really scuffed up. You could see like a teeny thing here and there. And it just had like tape marks and stuff over here, um, which it still has like a little tape residue. I have to do a better job with it. Um, but I got it really pretty clean. Um, the other damage is these knobs, which are actually, where are they? Okay. Um, I'll show you that too in a second. Uh, these are the knobs that were on it. And so you could see it was like a pretty, uh, clean-ish break, but I want to find something similar. I only have two of these also, so I can't really try to re-put them on, but, um, so I'm looking for knobs, uh, but this is a huge vanity. Uh, I got a piece of glass too to go over it. My Slytherin pajama pants. This mirror I found at the thrift store, I found this stuff at, uh, and that was probably like $40, and my sister spray painted it gold for me. Um, <clears throat> 
Over here, um, I just have this, here I just have this little candle holder from Morocco, um, brushes, candles, things like that. And then I'll just show you how big this is so I can still open it by here. But um, this I keep like some palettes and just some other random stuff. And then, and then here you can see like the bulk of my makeup that I use daily, I keep in here. Um, and then like overflow of stuff I keep over here. I'm really trying to use everything that I have up before buying new stuff. Haven't been wearing makeup really, so it hasn't been super promising. And then they, these are just like makeup bags and then like some sample size stuff that I use for traveling, which, you know, hasn't happened. Uh, and then this chair I got because it matched well with like my walls and I wanted something green to go with all this white. Is from Target and it wasn't that expensive. Here is just the hallway that leads to the garbage and the laundry. Um, this rug is also from Rem USA. This one is really cheap. I don't really like it, um, but it's gonna stay here for now because it keeps my legs, feet, <sighs> keeps my feet warm ish. And then my bathroom you've seen before, so I won't show you this again, but like this is my little half bath that's down here um pictures of friends and stuff like that so yeah that's everything um i also have a new Insta instagram it is called traveled treats and um if you follow me on regular instagram you might have seen that i was like trying random candy in the uk and then you know it turned out to be kind of funny and so i made a youtube channel because i love food trying new food stuff like that so you can follow me there might do some things thanks for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye